Harper County, a ceremony honored soldiers and their sacrifices for freedom. The ceremony took place this afternoon in Washington. Our Amber Joseph reports. More than 100 veterans and their families and friends gathered to honor our servicemen and women this Veterans Day. And many veterans tell me that this day brings back so many memories, but also makes them proud of their service and sacrifice. And it's good. It's good and when you walk with the people. They uh, treat you and respect you for the time you did give to help fight for America and to keep our country free. American Legion Auxiliary 15 held their annual Veterans Day ceremony Monday morning. Veteran Johnny Northern and other service members who were in attendance are thankful to be honored and recognized for their service. It's a plus that, uh, that they can they'll recognize you for the work that you put out there and, and it's good to keep America free. American Legion honored veterans and fallen soldiers with songs, speeches, and the presentation of colors. Each veteran honored their fallen brothers and sisters and bonded over their service time. I spent 20, uh, 21 years in the military and retired. I spent 16 years overseas. And you name it, I've done it. End up doing 26 years. My travels in the military carried me to the Philippines, the Germany, uh, Seattle, Washington, Charleston, South Carolina, Fort Bragg. So I made my tour out there. I enjoyed it. The American Legion discussed the issues veterans face, like PTSD, homelessness, and transitioning back to civilian life, and discussed ways they can get help and support. And I recognize the hard work they do as veterans and the hardships that they undergo and we need to appreciate them and say thank you and today's the day to do that. Hodges gave a Veterans Day address and recognized each military branch along with their songs. American Legion Auxiliary 15 hopes that people celebrate our veterans all year long. In Washington, Amber Joseph, 9 Your Side.